pieces, you know, food for thought, just, you know, phrases that we think of. Um, oh, I can do one right. Okay, go ahead. What you got? No, I'm just going to tell you. You going to throw one in? Yes, I have one right now. Okay, well, yeah. This is something I call feed a person, teach a person. So okay. this is the same thing. What was, um, it's Jesus, right? Jesus with the teach him, teach him. Is that Jesus? Is that a pair? Is that just something else? Teach a man a fish. Is that what Jesus did? Teach a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach a man, show him how to fish, uh, feed him about, for. You talking about the fish and the loaves? Is that what you Y'all know what y'all know what I'm talking. Y'all know the story. I don't I don't know who made it up, but you know what I'm talking about. You teach teach a man a fish, or you feed him for a day. Uh, no, feed a man, give a man a fish. Y'all, whatever. Let me say what I have to say. So feed a person, teach. A <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay. Let me pull it up so I can have it on here. Feed a person, teach a person. So there are four steps to this. This goes back, by the way, to the team building, mm -hmm. and this goes back to when I say, oh man, you're uh, but lifting people up out of poverty permanently. Right, so we're talking about feed a person, right? Feed them or uplift them. So a lot of you, right? A lot of people use the phrase, um, you know, uh, I think the conservatives use, you know, pull yourself up by your own bootstraps, right? And then some of the phrases is some people to the left will say, I don't have straps on my boots, or you know, extreme poverty, I don't got no boots at all. Well, Corey has come here with a plan to counteract that. I will bring you the boots, right? Feed a person, teach a person. So step one, right? If you're hungry, I'm gonna come and feed you. Right, not you know, metaphorically and literally, right? So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna feed you, uplift you. So if you don't have boots with straps on them, I'm gonna come bring you some boots with some straps on them myself, right? So I'm gonna, if you're struggling financially, not that I would give you money, but I'm gonna, you know, give you the tools, quote unquote, free of cost, if you're at that point where you have no bootstraps. Not for those of you who make enough money, you can't just budget, but I'm talking about extreme poverty now, extreme, extreme poverty type of stuff. I'm gonna come make, you know, this is when. Definition of that that means you're, you have an, an income problem, not an outgo. Yeah, no, extreme, extreme poverty, two thousand dollars roughly a gotcha. month. Yeah, yeah, and then it's obviously just for how many kids you have in the state. But yeah, we're talking about people who barely make five hundred dollars a week. You gotcha. know, people on WIC. You know, just had to clarify because people yeah. like I'm broke. Court, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, most people again, only twenty percent of people are in poverty. So most are in poverty. So most people are in that situation. But yeah, you give someone the resources that they don't have, right? So be the person first. Second step is, right, so I'm gonna, let's say you're struggling financially, um, you know, to feed yourself. I'm gonna, you know, boom, pay for groceries, you know, three months, whatever it is. And the second thing is, I'm gonna show you, right, how I manage my funds so I'm in the position to be able to help you, mm -hmm. right? So I'm able to give you things. And the third thing is, right, I'm going to show you how to obtain things for yourself, that's the third thing, right? So now I've you need food, right? I've given you food. I've shown you how I'm in the position to give you food, you know, and obviously still take care of myself. And the third thing is I'm gonna show you how to be on a budget, right? And push up position because again, if you're if, if someone is struggling, right? They're struggling to feed themselves. I'm not gonna come in and put them on a budget because they they need food, right? Right. Then before I even you gotta be in a sustainable situation so they can listen to you. Exactly. And then before I even talk about them. Right, getting themselves together. I'm gonna, you know, show them how I got myself together. That's step number two. Gotcha. And the third step is I'm gonna show them how to obtain what I'm giving them, so that you can go out here and get it on your own. Then the fourth thing, the fourth step is what a lot of people miss, because a lot of people can obtain things, right? But can you sustain it, right, for the long term? So I'm gonna show you how to manage, right? I'm gonna, in this case, right, show you how to get your income up, show you how to budget, and then, you know, actually show you how to do that for the long term. Because remember, anti-single point of failure, right. right? So you can actually help yourself. The maintenance right? step, that's, that's super important. For right. Again, I mean, for both sides, fitness and finance, and I'm sorry, this is not the good, good, good. But for fitness and finance, if you don't learn how to maintain, if we don't give you the tools to build those healthy, sustainable lifestyle habits, whether it be finances or whether it be fitness, you are not going to stay or better yourself from the point in which we left you. Right. right yeah. Because you always feed someone who's hungry. You can't teach a hungry person. Right. I, I mean, everybody been sense. angry. Right. But, you know, you can't you can't teach a hungry person. Then the fit, and this is not a fifth thing, but like it's an extra. And this is actually the thing that most people forget is what you want to do with anything. Then. You want to show that person how they can go and help somebody else, right? Because now we're getting exponential growth. Let's say I'm one person, right? And I show them, you know, the four steps of feed a person, teach a person. Now they're quote unquote helped after a year and I show them how to go help somebody else. And then I go help somebody else, right? The next year. Mm -hmm. So that's I'm helped, they're helped. And then that's two people. And then the next year we each go help somebody else. That's four, right? And then those four people do the same thing. That's eight. 
So that's exponential growth for two. So I go from right two to the zero, right is one, two to one is two after a year, two to two, right? So in five years, how many people have I helped? 32, that's 32 families. Now obviously that pace isn't, you know, the same for everybody, right. but that's the one thing you just don't keep it in for you, right? You wanna talk about legacy, generational wealth, right. or building the team, you know, you share it and give it out to other people so they have resources. So yeah, that's the feed a person, teach a person. That is something that is very, and that's just obviously not for finances. And I think just to plug that, I think it was Jay Z that said it. If you, you're, you're, oh, I'm boss. Yeah, I tweet that out a lot. Yeah, if you don't, you call everyone. If you're the only one with money, then everybody else around you broke. broke then yeah, you're not rich. Basically. Yeah, I don't know. It probably wasn't that exact yeah. verbiage, but you know. But what yeah, I mean? He's, if everyone on your team is broke, then you don't got you're broke too technically. Exactly. Right. Yeah, I think Jay Z also said though, if you're the if everyone, if you're the only sane person in the room, you're the one that's insane. <laughs> right, let's we can do whole quotes all day. Right, right. that's a go. That was but, just a private club. Nah, right. yeah, but yeah, that's the feed a person, teach a person. Excuse me. Ooh, so that, yeah, that's very key. A lot of you need to. Oh, ooh, you, you. That's. Let me say this caveat. You gotta help yourself first. Mm -hmm. A lot of. You, I. Deep breath. Take your time. During the pandemic, and I'm not against this, but there was a post to, you know, when, you know, college students just had to, you know, had to go back home or whatever, you know, trying to get money together. Mm -hmm. But I saw a post for 2000, uh, what's, the, what's the thing called when you don't, don't uh, uh, help, uh, GoFundMe. GoFundMe, yeah. For 2000 that was the max. It was, two, that was the total they needed, $2,000. Now, uh, there shouldn't be, I mean, you shouldn't have to retweet a GoFundMe for $2,000. if Because if you're going to retweet it, you should... I got, you should add to that two thousand dollars, not that much money. I'm just, I'm just keep it real. It's not. So you shouldn't, because if what, you need 10 people to get $200? What? Okay, anyways, I mean, if you want to help this person, but I was thinking the person who retweeted, I'm like, you, you, you need to get yourself together first. You can't be out here trying to, you know, was it hurt people, hurt people? Broke people can't help broke people. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said, right, the first thing for a feeder person, teach a person. You don't got no boots, that's fine, or no straps. I, I, okay, I got, I'm gonna go get you some boots, what size you wear. But then, step two, three, four, and five, right, that's what you're talking about, you know, listening to somebody, right. submitting, right, cooperating. Oh, no, I don't listen to your plan, Corey. All right, that's why, again, I said, I got the counter for your puncher is God made help for a reason. You gotta, you know, want to help yourself first in every case. It's like, I mean, you got your boots, good luck walking. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> simple as that. Right, well, that's the trick is you're gonna need new boots. That's why I said I'm gonna show you how I was able to get you boots, and I'm gonna show you how to get boots, and then I'm gonna show you how to, you know, maintain and up, you know, keep up your boots, boots, you know, upkeep. Oh my goodness, yeah. So that's feed a person, teach a person. That's the first thing piece. That was a great one. Hey I'm man, I thought it was a lot more elaborate. I like that. I, I like what you see, I got the, I went, you know, I had to click, if I had to click over to the notes, I was going to forget exactly what it was. I'm gonna work on my style for the, the, the <laughs> next one. Look, add a little razzle dazzle. 